Hi guys, it's Cindy. Um, if you're new to my channel, my name is Cindy. I do Disney vlogs, I do planning and Disney tips, and I also have a lifestyle channel that you can check out. I will leave a link below to that if you'd like to see what I do when I'm not talking about Disney, but I love talking about Disney. Um, if you're not new to my channel and you've been here a while, you guys know I love everything Disney. You also know, because I just made an announcement recently, that I am going back to Disney for the first time in five years. I'm so excited. I still can't believe that I'm saying I am going to Disney. Um, but along with that, I have got to start planning what I'm taking to Disney with me. And part of that is my park bag. Now, I am going to share with you a new park bag that my daughter just gave me. I thought that I was gonna take it to the parks with me. I'm not sure that I am because a lot of the things that I need to take, I can't get everything in this bag, but it's a cute bag. I'm excited to have it. And if you don't know, I use my Disney bags even when I don't go to Disney. Anyway, uh, this bag my daughter had gotten from Burlington for herself when she went on a trip. Uh, she went on a Disney trip a year and a half ago and then this year she went to she went on a Disney cruise last year she went to Disney the parks this year she went on a Disney cruise no year before last she went to the parks last year she went on a cruise no you know what I take that back so last year she went on a Disney she went to Disney last year she went to the Disney parks as a solo trip for herself and then this year just this past winter she went to uh, on a disney cruise but she's decided that she's going to do disney to celebrate her birthday um i'm going along with her i'm excited like i said it's been five years Whew. anyway so she had started collecting a couple of disney bags and she collected a tiana bag oops i told you what kind of bag it is um but then she saw another one that she liked even better and so she's got this series of bags that are of her favorite characters from disney and so she called me and told me that she had this other bag and if i would like to have it i could have it and of course i said yes i didn't realize at the time whose bag this was but anyway let me show you the bag this is my tiana bag and what i didn't know at the time is that this is a daniel nicole bag um this is the front of the bag as you can see it has tiana on it it has a lily pad on the front pocket on the back it has straps she never even took the seal off of it or the price tags and at the bottom here it says danny and that's Daniel Nicole. Now, I don't think Daniel Nicole still does Disney bags. I could be wrong, but I thought I saw an announcement where something changed with her business. Um, and I'm not really sure what that is. But I've seen her bags at the parks. I've seen her bags online. I've seen them in Kohl's. And these particular bags were at Burlington. And she paid... $29.99 for it and it is a over $44 bag um so let's go inside so um I am going to be doing a what I wore at the parks video but that won't be until I come back because I'm gonna video that while we are in Orlando at Disney World I'm going to Disney World guys anyway oh did you notice my ears? My ears are from DIY. Let me get it right. Dream It DIY. Um, this was from a swap that we did many, many years ago. I love these ears. I'm not going to take them with me because I'm always so worried that I'm going to mess them up. So they're not going on the trip with me. But I thought I would wear them today in all my green glory. And anyway, um, so let's get inside. This is the front pocket. In the front pocket of this bag is a battery charger you cannot go to disney without a battery 
to charge your phone or your other electronics. Um, this one holds two charges, I believe, for my phone. Um, my daughter is also taking fuel rods. Um, if you don't know anything about fuel rods and if you need a battery charger, I would suggest buying it from Amazon before you could go because you can get two for the price of what you would pay for one in the Disney parks. But what's really great about the fuel rods is that you can change them out at the parks when your battery starts to run down and it will give you a fresh battery for free. You need one of these. Next up, I have my magic band. Um, my daughter gave this to me um, at the time. We weren't sure when I would go again, but she just thought it would be fun for me to have because they, the magic band plus was coming out and they had this one and it's got Minnie Mouse on it and it says Disney Mom. It is perfect for me. I will be wearing this at the parks. I do have my one from my last trip that I'm also going to be taking. Um, I do understand that even if you're back, because this one you have to charge because it lights up like at certain times in certain places at the park, you do have to charge it. Um, but if it if your charge goes down it will still open your door it will still let you charge i believe to your room and it will still um let you um use it for your rides and i was gonna say fast pass but they are no longer your lightning lane and your genie plus so you don't have to have it they will give you a card but this is just something fun that you can have so i have mine it's going with me Next in my bag, tissues. I don't go anywhere without tissues because you just never know when you might need a tissue. The only thing that's not in this bag that I will put in this bag is some um, sanitary wipes, um, but I haven't gotten those from the store yet. That will be a whole nother video. The things that I'm getting to prepare myself for this trip. I'm going to Disney, guys. <laughs> that is all that is in this pocket at the moment. I think I would probably try to fit my phone in here. I don't have a big phone, so when um, it would fit in here, I believe. Um, I think I have a iPhone 12 Plus or 12 Mini. That's what I have. So then this is the front pocket. Now, this did not come with it. This is a keychain that was given to me in a swap. This was from Daniel's by Dan Daniel used to Danielle used to be mickey's girls but she changed her name her channel is now danielle's bayou adventure and so she gave me some tiana things and i thought this is perfect on this bag it's a little charm brace it's a little charm for your pocketbook so i will leave a link below to her channel because that girl got some bags now you want to see bags go and see danielle's bags all right, inside here is a bunch of stuff. <laughs> if you see in this front pocket, one thing that I will not go to the parks without is a fan. And this fan I got off of Amazon. I really need to start me an Amazon store um, because I got a few things on here that are from, that are from Amazon. Uh, it has three speeds. I, this thing is a lifesaver. I have used it at the park. I have used it at home. One time we had a storm and electricity went out and I was like, it's too hot to not have a fan. Thankfully it was charged and I used it. Um, I've used it at church. We had a family reunion. I used it at the picnic. I don't go anywhere without this fan. You need you a fan. Um, I told you guys that I was going to be vlogging on this trip. So I have a tripod. It is not retractable. It's just a little short tripod. And this is the adapter for my phone. I also have an adapter for my iPad, but that's not going with me. But I can use this to vlog in the park. I can put it down on a table or on a trash can and then take pictures with it or vlog. Um, while I'm eating, um, even though I'm going with my daughter, we are going to be actually doing something separately from each other. And so um, I, it's not like I'll have her always there to like video, help me video record. And so I have this. Um, 
you can take this type of tripod into the parks. You cannot take a selfie stick into the park. So just a warn you in advance, they will make you take it back to your car or you may even have to go all the way back to your room because um, I don't think there's anywhere you can leave it. So, you know, don't make the mistake of trying to take it in or sneak it in because when you go to security, they're going to tell you you can't bring it in. So that is my tripod. Um, this is my charger for my battery. I have it in a little bag so the cord isn't all over the place. Um, never go to the parks without hydrating. It is hot in Orlando. It is hot at Disney. It is especially hot at Animal Kingdom. And so you do not want to not have water. Now, if you don't want to carry a water bottle around, that's fine too. Um, you can take an empty cup with you. Um, and you know, one of those ones that'll hold the ice and a hold the water for you because you want it to be cold, first of all. Uh, <coughs> so you want to have either a bottle of water with you or a cup that you can fill up. There are filling stations where you can get um, your water bottle filled up. You can also ask at guest services or at some of the kiosks and they will give you some ice water. Now we'll warn you, some of the water in Florida tastes kind of funny. I think it has like sulfur in it and that's the taste and the smell that you, that you get from it. Um, so you might want to take like those little flavor drops um, to put in it. I also suggest if you are a person who does not like to drink water, that maybe that you get you some liquid IV so that you can make sure that you're staying hydrated because you need to stay hydrated when you're in Orlando. I mean, you should be drinking water anyway, but you really need it when you're in Orlando. Um, next in my bag is my Tiana wallet. I have a smaller wallet that I really want to take because I really don't want to take my big wallet, but it does fit in my bag. And this Tiana wallet was from a friend, one of my, um, my biggest supporters. She comments on all of my vlogs. Um, she watches my Disney vlogs. She watches my home lifestyle vlogs on my lifestyle channel, uh, Traveling Beans. Thank you so much. Um, I will put a link below to the video where she surprised me with a whole bunch of stuff at Christmas time. One of the things that she gave me was this Tiana wallet and I love it. Um, it has my, it has a place for my cards, a place for cash, a place for coins. Um, it holds everything. Next in here is this little bag because I'm one of those people that put bags inside of bags and this little Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, this little Minnie Mouse, um, this keychain was in a, um, Bippity Box, Bippity, Bippity, I don't even remember what it's called. It's been so long since I did one, but it was in a subscription box and I just added it to a bag that I had. Inside of that is hand sanitizer because people, Disney, children folks that don't wash their hands you need some hand sanitizer people i'm just saying and there are still you know little germs still running around out here that people don't like to talk about lotion because you're always washing your hands or using hand sanitizer you really want to go wash your hands but if you can't get to a place to wash your hands you want to have some hand sanitizer i have some chapstick i have a Tied to go pen because sometimes I make a mess. I have Excedrin because I get migraines and sometimes when it's hot, I really get migraines. So I want to be prepared. I got a nice fresh bottle of Excedrin. You don't have to carry this, but I'm telling you, it could be your friend, some deodorant, because again, it's hot and you want to be fresh smelling. Now, what I do is I go to the parks, I take a break, go back to the hotel, freshen up. You can even take a shower, put on some fresh deodorant, and go back out later on when it's not quite so hot. Um, the only thing that's not in here, well, it's not the only thing, but one other thing that's not in here is maybe some mints or some gum or uh, a little snack uh, to tide you over because it's expensive to eat at Disney. Um, so you might want to take like a granola bar or something along that line to so just kind of tide you over till you can go sit down somewhere and eat. 
Um, a Ziploc bag would be good because you can put things in that, uh, like, you know, leftover pretzel. Can't put an ice cream in it, but you can definitely put a pretzel in it or a cupcake. Now, it might get smushed in your bag, but at least it won't get mess all over your bag. I have a little chip clip just in case. Um, toothpick. I think that's it. I think I have, usually I put even like a little bobby pins and a little scrunchie in just in case something pops while you're out and about and you need another one. Don't give me any, don't y'all come after me about this particular one. I'm just telling you what I'm going to be doing. I'm gonna be taking a mask. I'm going on a plane for the first time in, I think I said it was 12 years. Um, I'm still trying to stay safe. You do you, I'll do me. Um, so I will be wearing a mask on the plane. And if I'm uncomfortable, I'll be wearing a mask when I'm around people in the park. That's just my business. So I have an extra one in there. Okay, because it's hot at the parks in Orlando, and sometimes it don't matter what time of the year you go, I have a cooling rag. Basically, it's a little scarf that you wet. We've even put it in an ice bag, wet it, squeeze it out, pop it, put it around your neck. It helps to cool you off between the cooling rag and your fan and some water. You should be good. But don't forget to take a break. Don't forget to go in and get some air conditioning because it's hot. That's all I'm going to say. Now, in this little small pocket here in the back, I have my earbuds. Still not quite sure if I'm going to take those with me, but I have them just in case. I want to just listen to some music. Let's say I end up in a long line because I still haven't decided if I'm going to do Genie Plus and Lightning Lane. Um, I'm on a budget, people. And the prices for those things has gone up so high. Oh my gosh. Yeah, let's not even talk about it. But I also have my regular earbuds. I have a little thing to put those in just like with um, my uh, charger cord. Um, and I got to find that because I don't like this just hanging around by itself because it'll get messed up, tangled up and everything. Then I have a couple of, um, what are these things called? Band-Aids. You never know. I have a little uh, disinfectant wipe and I have some Neosporin because if you get a boo-boo, this will take care of it. Now, there are stations where you can go and pee in, in the parks where they will help you with something like that. But if you don't want to wait until you can get to that um, and you want to clean yourself up in case you, you know, fall or you nick something, at least you have a little you know, set in your bag already. Now I do have a big, bigger um, first aid kit, but I'm gonna probably leave that in the room and just, if I need to replenish this, I actually have never had to use it. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Um, but it's good to have that. I also have a little rag to clean my glasses and to clean my sunglasses. Speaking of which, you need sunglasses, people. It is hot. I repeat, it is hot in Orlando, Florida, and you need sunglasses. Now, I had a nice pair of sunglasses and they just recently broke. You guys know I wear glasses, so I had to go and buy a new pair of sunglasses because I was not going to Florida without sunglasses. Um, and these are my favorite sunglasses. They go over my regular glasses. I don't have contacts, so I wear prescription glasses. And so I have these cute little sunglasses i had a similar pair a few years ago they broke i replaced them it was a matte finish one but i really like this one this is similar to the one that i had when i went five years ago so when i reordered i ordered these um, and they are polarized it's important to protect your eyes from the sun people just saying so they will probably be on my eyes but you know from time to time you might have to put them in your bag um so i have just enough room to put those in my bag so that is everything that is in this bag 
And the only reason that I'm not, I'm considering not taking this bag is because what I have that did not fit in that particular bag is my raincoat and my umbrella. And the reason I say you need a raincoat and an umbrella is because again, it's Florida. It's gonna rain at least once or twice a day. Um, it's not, may, it may not rain all day, although it could rain all day. And you've paid a lot of money to go to Disney. You paid a lot of money for those tickets and you can't let the rain stop you. So you need you a poncho, a rain jacket. I love this rain jacket cause it um, folds up into this little pocket but it would not fit in this particular bag and that's why i'm rethinking my bag situation um you'll hear about that in a later video and an umbrella is always good because even with a rain poncho or rain jacket i don't want rain just pouring down on me and unless it's like thundering and lightning i want a umbrella and um Another reason you should have an umbrella is because, did I mention that it's hot in Orlando and the sun beams down on you? So sometimes it's good to have an umbrella for the sun. I'm just saying, cause it's hot in Orlando. <laughs> so these are the things that I would carry in a part bag. Now you may not carry that in your part bag and you have to do you, I have to do me. Cause that's my business. If you know, you know. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Guys, it really helps me. And if you would like to know when the next Disney video comes out, because there are going to be a lot of Disney videos coming up, um, all you have to do is hit that little notification bell below. Oh, another thing. Have you subscribed to my channel? Like, what are you waiting for? You're missing everything if you aren't subscribed. So it doesn't cost you anything. So you might as well join in with the family. I call my people, my Ohana, because we're a family. And we would love to have you as part of the family. So guys, I just want to say, thank you so much for watching. And until I see you the next time, you guys have a fabulous, wonderful, blessed day. Bye.